How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for a new mod map to Farm Simulator 22 called The Memory. And we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads, Welcome to the map of memories. The card consists of 205 hectare divided into 50, 150 fields, 17 of which are meadows. The smallest field is 0.2 hectares and the largest is 3.6 hectares. 10 forest areas, 2 areas each with grapes and olives. Two farms with cows, one pig farm, one small horse farm, one chicken farm, two large chicken coops, one sheep farm, one grape slash olive farm, one BGA, six sales points, orchards, apple, pear, cherry. Some productions are adapted, e.g. musili without raisins or bakery with additional cakes. AI traffic on the main routes, train line in the south of, uh, in the south for the sale of bulk goods. Note only bulk goods, no bales will be accepted and pallets cannot be loaded onto the train. 100 collectibles, collection shelf at the shop. There are two map versions included. This is available as a version without and once with the premium expansion. In the version with the DLC, the production for soup, canned goods, and chips are already placed and there are a few other decorative items compared to the version without DLC. There are mods required for this map starting with the Universal Porch Roof by No Nam, Large Placeable Chicken Pen by Mac Trucker 921 Old Brick Building Pack by Ickus, Pig Shed by DMI20MM Normandy, Old Wooden Shed by Raider, Cow Barn with Big with a Cow Barn Big with Lizard Feed Mixer by Caster DS Agro Service, Bale Storage by Caster DS Agro Service, Stall for Beef Cows by Quentin Modding, Farm Gate Pack by FSG Modding, FSG Tasman, Large Old Chicken Coop by VX Mapping, and the 8 Bay Double Cow Shed by Sully. This map was created by Princess Black and is 307.33 megabytes to download. If we take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. We start out in the kind of northwest corner of the map. We start out owning Farmlands number 25, 28, 31, and 176. 25 is a field with no product in it. 28 is a grass field that is ready to harvest. 31 is a wheat field ready to harvest. And 176 is our main starting farm. You can purchase all areas on the map. And we'll start out by looking at some of the prices for these fields. It's relatively cheap because a lot, of, almost all of them are really, really small. The largest one being about 3.5 hectares or 3.6 hectares. Very, very small. 41,000 for this one. You got 56,000, 55, 56, 59, 72. I mean, for the size that you're getting, it's kind of sort of expensive, but it's not terrible. You got really small ones here for 22, 30. Got a little bit bigger, 119, 163. Let's see, down here in the southeast corner, we got 192. Uh, here, check out these ones up here for 184, 148, and so on and so forth. Got the kind of peripheral area here for 675 million dollars. Quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit. And some forestry here down in the southwest for 438,577, 831. We got 851, 501, and 395 thousand dollars. Whew! So yeah, it's it's gonna take you a while to start really building up, but you do get some smaller bits and pieces here and there that you can kind of start adding to slowly but surely. If we take a look at mods specific to this map, there's nothing under the buy menu, but under the build mode. If we take a look under the buildings tab and silos, scroll all the way to the right, you will see. Whoops, the memory mod. These are mods that are specific to this map. Anything that does not label with the memory is a mod that is required for the map. There is nothing under the remainder of silo extensions, container, tools, or farmhouses. There's nothing under productions, nothing under animals, nothing under decorations, and nothing under landscaping. Not even additional, or no, there are additional painting swatches, what? Huh. There are additional painting swatches. So, yeah, nothing else, though. So, we start out here, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, looking at a nice little waterfall area. But, this is not a point of interest. So what we want to do is start heading towards one. We've got 
one just down here. This is the watering place. So a place where you come and buy water. Oh, I should probably turn that on as well. We run down the street and directly in front of us now is the main starting farm. We'll go ahead and mosey on inside and then we will take a look at what we start out with with the starting equipment. Under the buy menu, under owned items, under small tractors, we have a Zator, Forterra, HSX 120 under medium tractors and Massey Ferguson 37 uh, 3670 harvesters a Deutschfahr top liner 4090H cars lizard pickup 1986 trailers the Klaus carrot 140TD header for the Deutschfahr cultivator the Amazon Senio 4000 super power harrows the Amazon KG 3001 super and cedars the Amazon Katea 3000 super under slurry tanks the farm tech super Cease 800 mowers the K brand GMD 4411 Tedders, a Pottinger Alpen Hit 4.4H, Windrower, K Brand GA4731, Forage Wagers, the Stroutman Zalon CFS2501 Doe, D O. Under Bailers, we've got the Pottinger Impress 125F Pro. Under Animals, the K Brand RA145 Forage Mixing Wagon, and the Abbey Attachments 1600 Water Tanker. Under front loaders, the Qu uh, Quickie Q5M. Under front loader tools, we have the Albert Silage Cutter, Round Bale Fork, and Universal Bucket. Under header trailers, I have the Deutschfahr uh, header trailer. Under weights, we have the Tenwinkle FGB600 and Pack 1000. Miscellaneous, the Bachmann MLA MHAL4320-35. And that is everything. So let's go ahead and start taking a look around our starting farm. So starting right over here, we have a wardrobe trigger. It's kind of parked over with our truck, but wardrobe trigger right there. Sleep trigger right here. Over here. Chicken barn or chicken coop. 500 chickens. Room for that. And we have the feed input there and output for eggs here. We have over here a uh, cow barn right here. So I believe this is the slurry. Oh, no, that might be milk. Give me one second. That might be milk. I think this is slurry. I think the other side is milk. If not, vice versa, switching around. One of them will work with milk. One of them will work with slurry. You can open the gate, but you can see if I stand off to the side here a little bit. Animal dialog box does come up. Room for 45 cows. Feed goes in here. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Feel like I'm missing something. No, I'm not missing it. Okay. That's right. It's over here. Over here we have the bale storage. We have another cow barn. Room for 200 cows. Over here, I believe this is the milk trigger, because we have the, nope, mm, do, 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 do. I, I believe this is milk trigger right here. It's not really well defined, because there's no, like, milk tubs or anything like that, just kind of, that would really kind of indicate. Let's see, repair trigger right here, fuel tank over here, some of our starting equipment tucked away over here, we got another bale storage right here, silo over here. Let's see. Just looking to see if we can find. Yeah, here's the slurry is right here. So yeah, I was right. The milk is on the other side. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Now, was there anything else? Bill storage silo. No, I think that's everything here. So go ahead and run around to the front of the farm there. Grab our truck and start making our way around the map. Okay, so now we'll just kind of cut around. Okay, here we'll make a left. 
cross over the river here. Come into town. And we'll stop right here. And first thing I got to do is I need to go ahead and put in a bunch of money here. So I'll go ahead and cut us out and cut us back in as soon as that money's in. All right, so we got some money put in here. Hop over the fence. And this, oops, if I can get to it, is the Bakery Von Mailer for 50000 We can purchase this, which we will do. And as you can see, bread, cakes, chocolate cake, cheesecake, apple pie. All of these are various outputs that can be made here at the bakery. Input here, I'll put there. Head down the road just a little ways. To right here, nope, I missed something. I missed the driveway right here. That's where I meant to go. That's all right. Over here is the old grain mill. Hop the fence. Input right there. Output over here. Old grain mill can be purchased for $110,000. Pretty expensive for it, but just a normal grain mill. Normal inputs and outputs. Hop back over. Follow this road over to here. And starting back here, we have the tailor shop. For 80000 we can purchase the tailor shop. Input's here, but problem is, is I don't know where the output is. If I take a look, there's no hash marks. There's one here next door at the spinnery. But there's no hash marks for the uh, the tailor shop, as best as I can tell. So, not sure where this is going to spawn. If we go right next to and eh, you know what? Let's double check something just real fast. Yep, just close. Just close. Right next door, we have the spinnery. 75000 to purchase. And again, normal inputs and outputs. We have our output right back there. And our input is around the other side right here so now we head back to the truck we'll cut through right here because that's where the truck is and the next point of interest is back here this is the daily dairy daily dairy milcher 70,000 to purchase this go ahead and do so butter cheese and chocolate nothing too special there open input here and output there just a standard dairy we're used to that whoops I was reading through my notes okay next point of interest is right here we have the cereal factory it can be purchased for eighty thousand dollars input and output and purchase some of these are, are, see, here's one right here. Different recipes for cereal. So we got honey, raisins, uh, oats, and corn to make cereal. We also have the addition of chocolate, so you can make chocolate cereal, as well as just a basic recipe of honey, oats, and corn. So very, very nice there. Across the street over here is the oil mill. Input and output right there. And can be purchased for $100,000, a very expensive oil mill, and just a standard inputs and outputs. And then over here we have the sugar mill. Sugar mill can be purchased for $120,000. Again, standard inputs and outputs until we get to lump sugar. So you take your sugar and then you make it into lump sugar. So that's cool. Input uh, output there, input in the back over there. Get spun around. Now, here is the biogas plant. Now, if I walk up to the fence, you can see I can't open the fence, nothing I can do can open it. So, in order to do that need to purchase it. So we started out meh, about right here-ish. 
We came down to the water place here. We came to the starting farm, checked out everything around here. And we took the road down to here, came across where we saw the bakery Von Meller. We came back here to the old grain mill, then over to the tailor shop, as well as the spinnery. Came back out, saw the dairy milcher, then came around the roundabout, out to the cereal factory, then to the oil mill, then to the sugar mill. Oh, and I missed something. I missed it completely. Um, okay, this is the input for the sugar mill. This is the input for a sail point. This is a sugar beet sail point right there. I completely missed that. So let's go back to the truck. Yeah, I didn't even take notes on that. I Wow, I'm glad I saw that. So back to the truck. And back to the map. If we purchase farmland number 175 for $1.5 million, you'll see all this stuff pops up. And now I should be able to come up to the fence, open the gate, and now we get this. So starting way in the corner over here, we have a bale storage right here, bale and pallet storage. Over here, we have our biogas plant. And we do have silage straw, which is a different input, but it takes silage and straw. So it just gives you kind of a, uh, hmm, wait a minute. Okay, so it's mostly straw with some silage. So you're, you're getting a lesser output of your methane and all that stuff, but it is a separate, uh, several one you got your slurry manure and your sugar beet cut those ones we're used to we have our solid input here liquid output here and wait what oh i this is a sugar beet chipper so you can make cut sugar beets using this that's cool i didn't even realize that when i bought this earlier i thought this is the output that's not the output Let's see, we got our output for, yeah, our output for digestate is right here, and our input, is right here. And tucked around here, we got a silo, wardrobe trigger, sleep trigger, right there. So it's kind of like a little, like, farm all on itself. And then tucked away back here, if I can open the gate. Where is the gate opener? There it is, gate open. A little button right there. We can purchase this area back here. This is something separate. So this is what I had is farm number two, but this is really farm number one. And we do have a couple more things over there I need to show off. Farmland number 174 for $306,450. Go ahead and do that. We can get some sheep over here. We got some, I, mm, do, 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 do. is this the bale? And, yes, this is the object storage here. So you can have an output of your sheep uh, wool here and store it right over here. Feed goes here and both of these hold 65 sheep. We got another bale storage, bale uh, kind of object storage right there. And then over here, we have a sheep pasture with room for 200 sheep, feed input here, and output for wool right there. Now continuing on over here, got a whole bunch of storage tucked away in here. Repair trigger, fuel tank, and now that is everything here at this kind of farm, biogas plant, like, this is a pretty big facility. I mean, it's, you can tell why it's worth so much. So, whoops, easy, easy, easy. There we go. Head back out, down the road. And here we'll make a left. And go back out to the main road, over the bridge, and continue on our tour. Now we're going to 
follow this around. Keep following this out until Here we'll make a right. And here we'll go ahead and stop. We take a look at the map. So we were here at the second farm, this whole big area here. We came back out, came across the bridge, then followed this all the way down and around out to here to this area here. Farmland number 173 can be purchased for $288,900. And we get some pop-ups that come up. This is our horse farm. Got a little training area right here, a little riding area. Open the gates. We have a horse pasture right here. Open that. Room for 16 horses. Our feed goes in there. And over here, we have a horse barn. Feed here. And room for 14 horses. And that's it for this area. So let's go ahead and keep on chugging along. Continuing down south. Make a left, follow this out and around. To this area down here. So over here we have the, uh, where was it? The Pallet Good Sales Sell Point. And over here we have the train silo, input and output with our trailers here. Around the back. Over here, rent train trigger down there and our input for our train is right here. And I believe there's an in, or I'm sorry, output is here. I believe there's an input here as well. Now we'll grab the truck, head out, and backtrack just a little ways. As you can see, the train line is not large. It just basically comes in and then leaves the map. That's it. It's not like this big trek around the map or anything like that. It's just, whoa, there was something. Coming up over here. Now here we'll make a right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeehaw. Come into town. A lot of collisions here, so we're just going to do our best. Now coming up here is the next farm. This will be farm number four. And this is a couple of set of chicken barns. Go ahead and take a look at the map. We saw the horse farm right here, came back up and around, and we saw the pallet goods sales, the silo here, the rent train trigger, came back up and around, out to here, out to this area here. 172 can be purchased for 239,760. And two chicken barns. Open up the fence. Open this. We got our feed, it goes in here. 
We got our 2,000 chickens that can go in here. And I believe... Where was the spawn point? I don't recall. There it is. Right over here is where the eggs spawn. So two of those barns looks very good. And now we're going to get turned around. Backtrack a ways. Oof, oof. Easy, easy. I said a lot of collisions in here, so proceed with caution. Come back out to the road. Make a right. Then follow this around our next set of interests. Here we'll make a right. Take this all the way back here. Stop right here. Then in here, all the way to the very back, Here we have the carpentry, can be purchased for ninety thousand dollars. Go ahead and see what's here. Nope, all that standard. Input here, wood cell trigger here, output right there. Here we have the stone collection point cell point, and the wood chip sales cell point. Around this side we have our sawmill outputs right there. Wood chip output here. input right here with a wood cell trigger right here and can be purchased for $150,000. And then in here we have our animal dealer. Now you can purchase animals directly using this icon here or you can go to your main pens and pastures where they may be located and purchase them from there directly as well. But if you use these icons directly, you will incur an additional fee. That fee is associated to a delivery fee. The animal dealer here is taking the animals from this location and delivering them for you to wherever you have them set up on your map. Now, if you do this, it will cost you quite a bit of money, especially depending on how many animals you have. So if you come here, you look for, let's do a cow barn here. For an adult cow, it's $100 per additional cow on top of the base price. So to fill up this particular cow barn with 45 cows, is going to cost me an extra $4,500. Now to save that money, you can come to this location, purchase an animal trailer, or you can lease it, bring it here, and load directly into the animal trailer. Then you'll be able to deliver the animals to your pens and pastures yourself, and you'll save that delivery fee. So it can save you quite a bit of money, depending on how many animals you intend to deliver. Oh, and I just noticed all these tucked away just back there. Some little hidden treats. Back here we have, this is the feed buy station. Over here we have the livestock trade grains acceptance sell point. And back here we have the livestock trade bales acceptance sell point. Go back out and grab our truck. Now tucked away in here, we have a water place, uh, a watering place cell point, or buy point, sorry, place to buy water. And then in here we have the farm shop cell point. Now we head north. Now up to this area here. Oh, if I can avoid getting clobbered. 
Here we go. So here we have a watering point. A little buy point for water. And this is our next farm. This is going to be farm number five. We take a look at the map. We were here at the chicken coop. Came back out and around, up to the main road, down and around, over to here where we saw the carpentry, the stone collection points, the cell point, the wood chip sales cell point, and the woodwork, aka sawmill. Then we saw the livestock market, the feed buy station, the livestock trade grain acceptance, then the livestock trade bales acceptance. We then came back out to the watering place and then the farm shop. Then we came all the way up to here, saw the watering place buy point there, and then farmland number 170 for $2,038,575. Uh, 38, can be purchased and now we got a whole load of stuff here. Starting out with the silo right there. Let's see over here, if I remember right, is it in here? No, it was back. Okay, it was around the other side. We got a wardrobe trigger here, sleep trigger here, greenhouse or a garden right here. Let's see, water inputs right here. It's just a standard uh, kind of inputs and output for a greenhouse. Uh, fuel tank right here. We got a repair trigger right here. Let's see. And now. We need to actually cut through here. And go up the hill to see the rest of the farm. Climb up here. A couple cow barns here and then one behind. Slurry output here. This one has room for 200 cows. Manure here. Slurry output. Room for 150. And another manure heap. We have inputs over here. And was there... Was there milk? There's no milk in these. Oh, I just noticed that. All right, well, no milk. Let's see. Bale storage right here. Slurry tank here. And a couple of cow pastures. We'll start out with this one. Room for 200. Feed here. And milk here. And then room for another 200. Feed and milk. And over here, a big cow barn with a mixing robot. If you choose to, you can put feed in down here. Several bunker silos up here. Slurry right here. Milk here. And room for 500 cows in here. So now we head back down to the farm. Or at least the lower portion of the farm. Can I sneak down? Yeah, I can too. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe the wall's small enough. Oh, yeah. It's small enough. Whee! So, catch up to the truck right over here. Now, just back here. Uh, can we see it? Yep. Off to the left side of the truck there, that is the to the open hall door cell point. Continuing around. Continuing up the road. Coming up here, cut through the roundabout. In here, we 
We have the shop trigger here. And, oh, uh, where to go, where to go, where to go? I think it's around. Yep, there it is. Repair trigger right here. Now, there is a little map right here that kind of shows some points of interest. So if you ever get lost or are looking for things, we have a bunch of buy stations up here on top of this hill. We come around. A liquid buy station for uh, herbicide and for liquid fertilizer. Salt buy point. We've got a solid fertilizer, seed, and lime buy point. think if I remember right I gotta go this way continuing down the road now here we'll make a right and follow this back uh, let's see I think it was just here. There it is. Now this is the next farm. This is going to be farm number six. Take a look at the map one more time. So we're here at farm number five. We then came down the road, down and around to the repair trigger as well as the shop trigger. All the buy points that were right here. We came back out to the roundabout, down over to here. And then over to this area, farmland number 171 can be purchased for 774450 Go ahead and do that. And now we have all of these. Go ahead and open the gate here. Got a sleep trigger right here. Wardrobe trigger right here. We have a garden right here. AKA greenhouse. You can see just water in and our products out. Open this gate. Let's see, go around the back over here. Slurry trigger right here and silo right there. Let's see, in here, repair trigger right here. Now, I think this might need to be fixed. I'm not 100% certain, but this is the repaired box right here. So I think that's supposed to be kind of turned inside the building. I could be wrong. Fuel tank here. Pig barn right here. Room for 170 pigs. Feed goes in here. Slurry here. 170 pigs. Feed here. Slurry there. And now... Turn back around. Oof. Fence right there. Have to head back to the main road. And just keep following this out and around until we get to our next point of interest. Doing a bit of backtracking. Oops, accidentally pushed the wrong button there. Follow this around. And keep heading out. Ooh. Now here, make a right. Followed by another, no, another right, right here. Now 
Now we're going to start. Whoops. I missed it. With this area back here. Oh. Why? Well, that's not good. So if we take a look at the map, we're here at farm number six. Yes, farm number six. We came out to the main road, came all the way down and around, I think it was up here, and then out to this area here. Now, do I need, I don't need to purchase, no, that can't be. This might need to be fixed because I should be able to open this gate. And when I came in here before, hmm. Well, anyways, we'll hop the gate for now, but that might need to be addressed as that is technically part of the periphery and not much you can do about. So starting way down here, we have our apple orchard. Can purchase this for $444,770. And as you can see, manure and water in, and that gives you apples out. Uh, manure goes in here. Water can be placed throughout here. Out of curiosity, now that I bought that production, did it give me the land? It did give me the land for that. So maybe now that I purchased that, maybe it'll give me access to the gate? Hmm. Over here, we have the pear plantation, $429,200. And again, manure and water in for pears out. And then over here, we have the cherries. The cherry orchard, 425,240. Purchase that. And there you go, manure, water, cherries. So let's see if now that I have the land or at least partially the land, the land that's the important part, can I get in here now with a trailer? If not, that's going to be a big problem because you're going to have to set these to distribute. Do I have access? I do not. Okay, well... That is definitely something that's going to need to be addressed in the future. Now over here, we have the Wind Garden, Wind Garden, blah, 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 Wind Gartner Juice, 120,000 to purchase this. And you can see we can make raisins, apple juice, cherry juice, grape juice, all of these. Oh, the apple juice requires pears. That's just something that occurred to me too. So, yeah, very nice. And we have output here, inputs, right over here. And now, hop back, wait, where did I look? Ah, there it is. Hop back in our truck and go see the last point of interest. Tucked around up here. We have the last of the farms. This is going to be farm number seven. And if we take a look at the map, we're here at the apple, cherry, and pear orchards. We then came up to the Weingartner juice production. And now we're here. Farm number 177 can be purchased for 255780 And repair trigger right here. Sleep trigger here. Wardrobe trigger. Fuel tank here, and a silo way in the back over there. And that's it. That is everything to show here on the memory. Now it's time to render my opinion, let you know what I think. Zero to five scale as per usual. And I like it. I really like this map. So far, this is the third map tour that I've recorded here tonight. And they've all been really, really good maps. Uh, there was the kind of what appeared to be a South American map. There was the uh, map by Celebuki. And then there is this one. And this one I really like. Now, there's color palettes. Okay. It's not the greatest. It does have a lot of color here and there and, and 
throughout most of the kind of roadways and all that stuff. So that one kind of meh. The fact that I can't open the gate to the uh, to the orchards, that's a problem. That's actually a pretty big problem when you spend that kind of money and then have to spend what was it like? Yeah, six hundred and seventy-five million dollars to potentially just to be able to open the gate. That's a big problem. That's a huge problem because then you're having to sit there and save and save and save. So, but outside of that, I mean, your starting farm, you get a lot of stuff going on in your starting farm. The train is really cool on this map. I do like it. There's some areas that could stand to be touched up, some kind of like really like steep areas that create a sharp uh, like divot in the road or a hump in the road. It just looks really sharp because of the non-smoothness that happens. And that's kind of juddery throughout the map. Like the road network here, you can kind of see how it just kind of looks almost, I guess juddery is the best word I can come up with, but it's just kind of the way that the road is textured on this map. You can kind of see like texture here, texture here, texture here. Like every time the road kind of just slightly bends, you can see this texture. And I don't know if that's something that can be helped by the map maker or anything like that, but it just, it stands out. But overall, I really like this map. The layout is nice. It's got tons of stuff going on it. Uh, the farms are interesting. The road network's a lot of fun. I mean, and, and because it kind of wraps around the entire perimeter of the map, it really makes the map feel absolutely huge and there's tons of detail all throughout the map there's tons of stuff going on you can do pretty much any kind of work that you want to do farming forestry animal husbandry whatever you can do pretty much everything that you want to be able to do i mean it's, it's got a great combination the map maker did a very very good job on this map so very very pleased what would i give this map zero five scale i would give this probably a four i think that this is you know, it's got some flaws, there's a couple things here and there, but all in all, a really solid map. Very solid, in, in my opinion. Like, right here is kind of the part I'm talking about where it's kind of sharp. There's a little sharp edge right here. Like, you get a couple of those kind of hills and mounds where it's just kind of a big, like, kind of an angle. Just a, a large angle that just looks kind of off. So, hopefully the map maker can smooth that out, make it look a little bit... Uh, more natural rather than it just kind of looking out of place at times but other than that yeah they did a great job I'm really pleased with this map but i hope you enjoyed this map tour if you did please show me by liking sharing subscribing following commenting doing all the things the algorithms enjoy you doing the show is your engagement this channel and enjoying the content that being said i hope you have a fantastic day take care